We are coming up to the new year very quickly and I have added some new releases to my wish list. Let's chat. Hi, my name is Jeanette and I want to thank you for joining me on the channel Jane Reads. So today I'm going to talk about the books that are releasing in January, February and March of 2024 and the ones that I have added to my wish list, my most anticipated of all the releases I've seen. So I've only added six because I want to keep my list kind of reasonable and controllable. And so these are kind of my six priority reads. I have two from each month, which worked out perfectly. A nice, like even. Okay, so starting with January 9th. Double Take by Lynette Eason is releasing. This is a romantic suspense. This is book one of a brand new series called Lake City Heroes. I do currently have an advanced reader copy through NetGalley, so I am reading that in the month of December. I've not started it yet, but it's on my December TBR because it releases January 9th. So I want to read it. And Lynette Eason, favorite author, I just, I've read all her books, I think, or majority of her books. And so as soon as I saw she had a new series come out, add to cart. Well, not quite, add to wish list. So this book says, or the summary for this one says, Detective James Cross has been honorably discharged from the Armony Criminal Investigation Division due to wounds sustained when an IED blew up near him. Now with the Lake City Police Department, he's rooming with his good buddy and partner, Cole, while he figures out his family dynamics. Physician assistant Lainey Jackson is 18 months out from an attempted murder perpetrated by her ex, which ended when she managed to grab the weapon and shoot him. When he appears to have survived and is back to finish the job he started, Lainey insists it's not possible, but someone is trying to kill her and she keeps seeing his face. Together, Lainey and James must work to find out who exactly is after her and why he wants her dead. And failure is not an option. It's romantic suspense, which is my favorite genre. It's Lynette Eason, who is one of my favorite authors. There was no doubt I was adding this to my wish list, and I am so excited to be able to read an early copy of this. Okay, then, on January the 23rd, we have The Foxhole Victory Tour by Amy Lynn Green. This is a historical fiction set around World War II and a USO variety show. And I have really enjoyed a couple of Amy Lynn Green's books, which is why I added this one to the list. So The Blackout Book Club was one of my favorite reads from this current year, 2023. And then I had one that was kind of a miss for me as well, but I was like, this one sounds interesting. So, this is what it says. In World War II, worlds collide when performers across the United States unite to tour North Africa in a USO variety show. Vibrant and scrappy, Maggie tried not to get fired from her wartime orchestra, but she can't keep from speaking her mind. So an overseas adventure with the USO's camp show seems like the perfect fresh start. Wealthy and elegant Catherine signs on with the USO to leave behind her restrictive life of privilege and to find out what happened to the handsome pilot whose letters mysteriously stopped arriving. The two women are joined by an electric group of performers, a scheming blues singer, a veteran tap dancer, and a brooding magician. But the harmony among their troupe is shattered when their tour manager announces he will soon recommend one of them for a new job in the Hollywood spotlight. Each of the five members has a reason to want the contract, and they'll do whatever is necessary to get it. As their troupe travels closer to combat in Tennessee, I don't know how to say that, personal crisis and wartime dangers only intensify until not only their careers, but also their lives are on the line. That sounds really interesting. So, yep. Okay, then, two for February. So February 6th, Sarah Sundin has Embers in the London Sky coming out. And as soon as I saw this cover, it was like, I love it. 
and I love books set in London, England. So I'm real, and I've really fallen in love with Sarah Sundin's writing. So I'm excited about this one. I mean, I'm excited about all of these. So this is another historical romance. And it says, as the German army invades the Netherlands in 1940. Wow, I am not going to try to say her name. Well, her last name at all. Aldea escapes to London to wait out the occupation. Separated from her three-year-old son, Theo, in the process, the young widow desperately searches for her little boy, even if she works for an agency responsible for evacuating children to the countryside. When German bombs set London ablaze, BBC radio correspondent Hugh reports on the Blitz, eager to boost morale while walking the fine line between truth and censorship. But the Germans are not the only ones Londoners have to fear as a series of murders flame up amid the ashes. Wow, that could be intense. And this is another one that I have received an advanced reader copy of through NetGalley and I cannot wait to read it. I really hope to read it in January so that like I can kind of promote it when it gets released in February. Okay, so also on February the 6th, we have One Wrong Move by Danny Petrie. This is book one of a new series called Jeopardy Falls and it is a romantic suspense, hence the reason I added it to my list. So it says, Taunting riddles, a deathly string of heists, two broken hearts trapped in a killer's game. Christian O'Brady was pulled into a life of crime at a young age by his con artist parents. Now making attempts for his corrupt past, he has become one of the country's foremost security experts. When a string of southwestern art heists targets one of the galleries Christian secured, he is paired up with a gifted insurance investigator who has her own checkered past. Andy Forrester was a brilliant FBI forensic analysis until one of her colleagues destroyed her career, blaming her for mishandling evidence. Now she puts those skills to work investigating insurance fraud, and this latest high-stakes case will test her gift to the limit. Drawn deep into a dangerous game with an opponent bent on revenge, Christian and Andy are in a race against the clock to catch him, but the perpetrator's game is far from finished and one wrong move could be the death of both of them. Sounds really good. We'll see. Okay, so in March. So both of these release March the 12th. The first one is If the Boot Fits by Karen Whitmire. Another historical romance. And this is book two of her series, Texas Ever After. I have not read book one yet, but hint, I have it. <laughs> and so hopefully I can read one and two next year, like early next year. We'll see. Okay, so it says, determined to prove the cattle king Eli Deering has no jurisdiction for evicting his stepmother and half brothers, Asher Ellis uses the cover of a fancy ball to break into the Three Cedars ranch house to search for proof of wrongdoing. On the verge of discovery, he flees, but a boy's cry compels him to make a daring rescue. Spunky and independent Samantha Deering balks when she learns the ball her father is hosting in her honor is nothing more than a matrimonial ambush. Taking a break from her unwanted suitors, Samantha spots a thief fleeing her home. When the stranger ends up saving her brother's life, she hides the only clue to his identity left behind his boot, and resolves to find him herself. What happens? What happens? I want to know. So I read that this was kind of like a, a spin on the Cinderella story, so it kind of sounds like it because she finds a boot from him instead of the other way around. Yeah. And I really enjoyed Karen Whit Whitmire, another one of my favorite authors, hence that's why this book's on my list. Okay, so the last book is Never Fall Again by Lynn H. Blackburn. It's another romantic suspense, and it is book one of another new series called Gossamer Falls. And it says, Landry Hutton has spent three years rebuilding her life behind the secure gates of the Haven 
an exclusive resort on the outskirts of Gossamer Falls, North Carolina. As the artist in residence and with her pottery prized by the Haven's guests, Laundry is expected to settle in permanently. She wants to give her daughter, Eliza, a safe home to grow up in and hires former Marine Callum Shaw to handle the construction. Cal grew up in Gossamer Falls and always knew he would someday join his family business. He longs for a family of his own, but has almost given up on that ever happening. Landry is funny, gifted in everything Cal could ever want in a partner, but he vows to keep his distance. Landry has a daughter and a past. Cal has been down that road before and barely survived when the woman he loved left, taking her two sons with her. He can't bear to lose like that again. Before construction on the house can begin, Landry's pottery is destroyed in a suspicious fire. It soon becomes clear that Landry and Eliza are in grave danger. But because of whom? But after losing one relationship, he is hesitant to try again. So those are the six books that I am really looking forward to in the beginning of 2024. As I mentioned, I do have two of them as advanced reader copies. So there will be two of those six that I am reading for sure early on. And the others, I will get my hands on them as soon as I can get my hands on them to read. That is the plan. So are there any books that you've seen that are coming out that you are anticipating? I'd love to chat in the comments below. And that's it for today's video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. And I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.